Hi everybody, Daphne here and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a bit, you all know that my main tools for working on my art are Kohonur rapidographs. As much as I love my tech pens, I've been obsessed recently with finding a disposable multi-liner alternative for them. Mostly for ease of travel and when I just don't want to deal with the messiness and drama that comes with rapidographs when I just want to get to inking my comic pages. Much to my surprise, there's a lot of different brands of multi-liners out there, and I didn't want to overwhelm myself or my wallet with buying every option to try. So after doing some research, I ended up with several options recommended by a whole range of professional and fan artists. The price ranges I give in the video are based on prices listed on dickblick.com, which seem to carry all of them, but as far as I can tell, all the pens I feature today can be purchased rather easily on Amazon, Michaels, and even Staples at a discount. Now the next test is to actually ink with them and see which ones will become Daphne Lage approved. <laughs> so if you want to find out who made the cut and who ended up in the trash, just keep watching. To do the testing, I printed out the same blue line image onto hammer mill 80 pound paper. Also, I will be listing all of the pens from worst to best. Sakura was the original manga multi-liner before Copic came onto the market. This particular pen can only be purchased in sets as far as I can tell. The set comes with four pens, a mechanical pencil, and an eraser for $12. They are also known for their Micron Pigmas, which offer more nib choices for around $15 to $20 a set. For the sake of this video, I only have Sensei's. First off, I have to admit that for some reason when finally doing this video, I only had two of the original pens in the set left, the 04 and the 06. First, I don't like the build of the nibs. They feel like cheap pens, which might make sense since these are supposed to be the cheap versions of the Sakura multiliners. But either way, I didn't like the feel of the pens in my hand while inking. For the smoothest paper I could get for this test, both pen and brush nib kept catching on the paper texture, making my lines shaky. Even more annoying, the ink also bled somewhat, keeping my lines from looking clean. I didn't have the variety of nibs for what I would consider a proper evaluation, but these two issues with the pens made this moot. This was my absolutely least favorite pen. Zig Millenniums are another inexpensive disposable brand that run for $2 each. I found these at Michaels where they are marketed more for scrapbooking, not for comics like the Sakura pens are advertised as. These pens have a standard felt tip, so you have to be careful if you're heavy handed like me. However, the ink was pretty difficult to get going and didn't flow smoothly, so I ended up having to be heavy handed anyway, which wears and distorts the tips quickly. After this test, I ended up with an ache in my wrist which would have gotten worse if I had to ink a full comic page with these. Even though these performed better than the Sakura Pigmas, the ink is so bad to get going. I actually enjoyed these pens until I did the comparison test and found them falling to number five on my list. These pens are the ones that came the most recommended as the Copic brand is very popular. The Copic Multiliner SP is the better quality version at around $8 a pen, but you can replace the nibs and ink cartridges, which I prefer especially for the amount of inking I do. These are supposed to be compatible with Copic markers and not streak, but since I don't use Copic markers, I don't have any experience with that. The ink flows nicely, but the nibs are flimsy and go bad pretty quickly, especially the brush tip, which tore up and split within hours of careful use. Watch those heavy hands, especially with the smallest nibs, and avoid the brush nib completely. Also, for the pricier version, they don't feel as solid as the standard Copic Multiliner.
Prismacolor Premier is another disposable pen that runs around $3. They're supposed to be compatible with Prismacolor markers and not supposed to streak. But honestly, I haven't had much luck unless you let the ink dry for a while. They will streak with the markers. They ink very smoothly, but again, with felt tips, you have to resist the urge to press down if you're heavy handed. They also have a lot of variety of line widths to work with, so it's the easiest set to find the right combo of pens to put together for your needs. The only problem I have with them is they have the skinniest barrels of all the multi-liners, so holding them isn't very comfortable after long periods and causes my wrist to ache. This is the economy version of the Copic multi-liners. The standard multi-liner is disposable, which ranges around $3 each. Lots of line width variety. Still a felt tip, but the ink is so smooth you don't feel the need to press down. I much prefer this version of Copic Multiliner to the SPs. Statler pigment liners are a bit more expensive for a disposable, ranging around $4 to $5 each. Supposedly you can leave the cap off and it won't dry out, but that's not something I'm looking to test. The ink is very smooth, maybe comparable if maybe slightly better to the Copic Multiliner. This is the pen I have been finding myself going to the most. Also, these pens are very easy to find. I was able to buy my sets at Staples. The Faber-Castell Pick Artist Pen Set that I have here is called The Wallet and retails for around $16 with individual pens in the $3 range. They are also easily found at Michael's, although they are much cheaper on Amazon unless you have a coupon, then it's about the same. I actually hesitate to make these my number one, but all things being equal to the previous Statler pens, these are the most comfortable to use. They come in both felt tip and brush nibs, but do not have enough line widths available to be the perfect set. In the end, it feels a bit misleading to call this my number one, because I have found myself combining these pens with the Statlers to make my to-go set for inking. What I do is ink first with the pick pens, then finish the work off with the Statlers, which in the end is the reason why I listed them as number one, because I use them first. So there you have it. My favorite pens to use are the Faber-Castell Pit Pens in conjunction with the Statler Multiliners. My least favorite are the Sakura Pigmas and the Zig Millennium, which I wouldn't recommend even on price because I think it's better to spend just a little bit more money to get a better pen that you'll actually use and give you the best lines for the money. In the end though, I didn't find one brand that I thought was the end all and be all because I needed my pens to be able to be more versatile than one brand was able to give me. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you have to take the best from every brand to put together in an art kit that fits you and the art style and the way you need it. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Leave me a comment down below if you have any other multi-liners you like better and maybe I'll try those out too. Thumbs up if you like to see more videos like this, because if it's one thing I know for sure is that you can never have too many art supplies. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.